So, hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, we will see how to create cast speed detection, and we will do it from our previous video where we have created cars car counter and the car detection. So, as I told you, we will continue with that project. So, now we are continuing it. So, we will start by renaming this to tracker to function library. And say here, okay. And what the so if you are using different ID, so here it will be not function library, it will say uh tracker. Okay, and one more thing is we will come to the tracker. So here class screen estimator. So here we will say car speed estimator. Here we will define the initialization as you know. So those who don't know, this is object oriented programming. If you don't know, so I will upload a video on it. Just comment below if you don't know it. And here say your position list. And below say self dot x equals to position list and we will give the first argument as x and self dot y equals to position list and here i will say y and one more thing which we will ask will be for fps so here say self dot fps equals to fps and just come below and here say define estimate speed and inside this what we will just do is specify self and here what we will going to do is here first we will get the d pixels which we need to get the distance so to get the distance the formula is Distance, distance upon time. So this is the formula to get speed. If you don't know, this will give us the speed. And what I will just do, we are just getting the distance. So to get the distance, say here math. So import it if you haven't imported it. Similarly, you can import. And say here math dot sqrt stands for square root. And inside this, I will specify the x plus the y. Here say self dot x plus self dot y. Something like that. So we have our distance in pixels. So we will need it to convert it in the distance in meters to process. So to do that, what we will do is see here d underscore meters means distance in meters. So how to get the distance in meters? So it's simple to get. So here what we will just need to do is just multiply the distance in pixel. With an value which is called ppm. So here it's 8.8 .8. so now we are multiplying it with the ppm and let me just change it to a variable called ppm equals to this and multiply this with ppm and come here below and just below and one more thing which we will do here is convert this to an integer and come below so the uh, problem was if we don't convert this to an integer so it will give an error so that's why we need to con convert it into integer and below it say here speed and one more thing which we will need 
and let me just remove these imports which VS Code creates. And just remove this. And here, say here, import numpy as MP. And come below, see a speed equals to the distance and upon means divided by the FPS multiplied by uh, 3.6. So this depends on. So let's convert this to cell. Okay, so this value depends on your video. So just calculate it. So, but most of for most of the people who are just uh, using a heavy video, something like this video, in this much speed it is, then it should work out fine. If they are, they are having more speed, then add more value to your speed variable. So next thing we will see here speed in kilometers. So we need the speed in converted in the kilometers with the NP variable uh, NP model comes. See here NP dot average. See here speed, and there we go. And see here return speed in kilometer. So come here. So one more thing which we will need to do is first calculate the FPS. So this can calculate the time. And what I will just do is create here a definition for speed estimator equals to speed estimator. And here, well, I will just cut this because we can define this right over here. So just come here and here, see here speed estimator. equals to the speed estimator definition so this asks for some values and those value are if i just show you so we need is the position list so to get the position list i will just pick it over here and here we'll say a list and x and y so I am not creating a for loop because I am a bit lazy. So here what I will just do is at the top I will define P time just like that and set it to 0. And after setting this to 0 what we need to do is scroll down. And come here. Here, what we will just do is calculate the FPS. So, to calculate the FPS, say here C time is equals to, and here we will import time something like that. And say here C time equals to time dot time. We will call this function. This is function is written in the float value. Come down. See here FPS equals to the 1 divided by the current time which we have which is C time and we will subtract it with the previous time and just write these in parentheses or we will get the wrong result come down and see here Previous time equals to current time. Something like that. So this will surely give us the FPS. And just verify our FPS. So after defining this and see here speed estimator 2 dot. And say here estimate speed. And as we call this, this will give us the speed. See here speed equals to the speed estimator 2 which we have from it we will estimate the speed. And here in the string what I will just do is say here plus colon space plus this string which will be converted of the speed. Because speed is an 
uh, integer so it needs to be converted in a string to display and now if I run it so the text is too large say so here one and one also change the thickness say so here run so as you can see we are getting the speed but it's in float to fix that go come here and see here in brackets integer that should work so as you can see we are getting the speed so i will add one more thing here is kilometer per hour so as you can see we implemented this so simply so if you need more tutorials like this so subscribe my channel and like this video if you like this video and that's it for today's tutorial thanks for watching